Now this castle has a door, but luckily, I have a machine that specializes in breaking doors. A really old battering ram with a tiny drill on the front because battering rams don't actually work in this game. Although I'm pretty sure if I put a blade on there it actually would work, so I'm probably wrong. But we drive this up to the door, and with ease, I mean a door can break from an apple hitting it in this game at least, but uh, even the walls. Walls are no match against my little battering ram thing drill. Basically, it's got a little bit of armor, so if rocks fall on it, it's fine. And it's just this big battering ram with a bunch of ropes on it. can also make it just drop if I want to for some reason. I can like make it more tense so it's higher up. And that's more of just a pokey stick, which still works. And I can just drop it. Now it's just out in front. And I can potentially hit the farmer with it. Or, I mean, I could just hit him by driving into him. Oh, that works. Now, how do I get this back in? Is wow, that's surprising. Get him. I missed. It's all right, we'll just go for the castle. That's great. Also, once the castle does break, if a piece were to fall on it, oh, actually, I've forgotten myself in invincibility. Now we're out of invincibility. If a piece of the castle were to fall on this thing. It would take minimal damage because of the armoring on top. Now, if I do this for long enough, a wheel might break off. That's more like a piece that isn't even on the front broke off. I should just be able to drive through this. Yes. And just like that, I have taken down the castle. I can probably take down a majority of this town with just this one vehicle. Just reverse into those houses. Now, I don't think these houses are actually drillable. It'll just make sparks. Oh! I am... Oh, that's right. You can't break them with a drill. But I can just drive through it with enough speed. Kind of strange. But, for instance, the sand houses over there, these don't destroy that easily. Can't just drive into them, they're a lot stronger, can't break it with the drill. And these markets are surprisingly strong. Like, if I don't have the battering ram on this, let me just, uh, yoink. Oh, that was attached very well. See, these, they require, like, a bit of speed to actually get through. You can't take them out with crossbows. Whereas those houses over there, child's play. They just fall like dominoes. And I have another machine that's better for taking out larger structures. This, the wooden box thing, has back wheel drive and back wheel steering. It's a bit strange, but it does the job. It can drive into houses. It can shoot a cannon at the houses. The cannon's right in the front there. It can not really do much against hitting things, but given the right accuracy and height, oh no, I'm stuck on a pot. My only weakness, a bin of fruits. I'm going to blame that on the fact that these bins are actually indestructible. 100% indestructible. I can throw this way over... Th I stand corrected. These are indestructible. Break it through the castle. Uh, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Completely fine. Chuck it on a mountain. Yep. In one piece. 
only way you can break is I'm pretty sure if you burn it. Oh. It's... Oh, okay. I thought the wooden bar barrel was not flammable. Although, once it's burnt, it's still a barrel. You cannot break it. If you made a machine out of barrels, if you could... Oh, that gives me an idea. An idea that I'll cover in a later video, maybe. I might give you a little sample of it at the end of this. But this is what this can do. Shoot a cannonball. Shoot more cannonballs. Even more cannonballs. And Aizen has a way of killing the farmer guy. Who is rather annoying. It just has a really bad turning radius. But if I can get him... Oh. Uh, just, just go ahead and stand up for me, buddy. Just go ahead and stand right there. Stand right there. Wait, what? Oh, he's... He's... How? He's beaten me. He's too smart. Why are they not hitting him? I really... Oh, what was that? He just hit me with so much force, I broke the wall and launched himself into the air and died. The, he killed himself by launching himself. That, wait, that's not even him. Where'd he go? He's just gone? Is he in the air? He's gone. He's been vaporized. Don't know how. Alright, what I was trying to show off was the fact that I can shoot arrows like that. Oh, wait, he can take more than one arrow? How st Okay. An arrow the height of a person. That is one strong farmer. How many arrows can a tent take? I'm assuming infinite. How about a house? These houses are, like, laughably weak. As you can see, they're breaking from simply being ran into. Okay, they are arrow-proof. That's pretty good. But they're not tap proof. Now, this house it's a bit more sturdy. I have to go a higher speed to break through it, and I can't achieve that speed. I do have a cannon, but for something like the windmill up there, I can't really reach that. But you would think that I can't reach that. Though I have a secret weapon. Oh, let me get rid of this windmill first. How? I have a secret weapon. Hidden in plain sight. Called. Flamethrower. Haha. <laughs> -ha. Any second it'll explode. Any second. Oh, wow. You see how high that went? That's what I mean by I can launch you into the sky. Which I will test later. But this one that's a bit higher is the reason that I can aim the where the fire goes. Haha! -ha. Nothing is safe except for those sandstone houses because I, I, they're made of... St oh, wait a minute. They're not safe. Oh, that was a large impact from a simple cannonball. I have a feeling, realistically, a, a single cannonball wouldn't destroy an entire house. There is a way of making planes in this game. But I'll cover that later. Now, so far, I've shown you catapults 1, 2, and 3. Da Vinci spinny thing, battering ram, the wooden box tank. But I haven't shown you the land train. Now this is my final machine for this video that I've built. I'll have it in invincibility. Actually, I won't. I'll probably put it in that after. This is a train. It's got those wheels in the front, big ones in the back, little one in the back, little training wheel to keep it in place. Some blades all over it, almost resembling wings, totally not foreshadowing something, right? Spinning saw blades and a drill right in the front, not to mention steam. 
with the power of this train, I can siege the castle with ease. Also, turns out saw blades can cut through solid stone walls. I didn't know that up until now. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, this house might not be a problem at all. And for things that are a problem, like uh, this market over here, saw blades. But if I ever don't want to ram into something, I have a solution called, oh, okay, that was easy, called fire. Fire thrusters on my train. That totally doesn't resemble a plane. Now, the only thing that would make this cooler Haha, <laughs> is if it was all explosive. Ooh, we have explosives every. Oh, that was fast. Don't mind that. I'm sure a peasant just walked into a house and destroyed everything because for some reason, the developers gave them the ability to walk through houses. Is it this guy? Is he walking directly into that tent and it causes the bomb? To what is he doing? Well, he is my main objective. Steam activated. Fire. And now, explosions. And I am also on fire. This didn't end well for any- wait, no. The markets, they're still intact. A cannon. Usually these only have one shot, but I have infinite ammo on because it's fun. Bang. Boom. Bang. Wow, that was a high projectile. Uh, oh, rock. Markets are no more. More boom. And now I'm pretty sure everything is destroyed. Yep. Everything's gone. Oh, except for these. Did I win? Ah, here it is. This thing, look at this, this plane. Special little thing I'll show you here. You see, there's something special about this plane, is it doesn't work. But, I can make it work. Let me load up an airport that I have. The reason this plane is so special, is because it uses a barrel. You simply put a barrel on right there. Rotate the barrel. Now, this plane was kind of made as a joke because I wanted to make a Donkey Kong plane. And what's something, what's more Donkey Kong like than a barrel of bananas? And you click it 20 times to enlarge it. And you put it approximately there. And watch it fly. Yes, this magic machine of perfect aerodynamics. What are the controls? Here there are the controls. Oh, it's it's amazing how well it flies for just being a giant barrel. Now, it doesn't have any yaw, so it's going to be a bit of a problem to land. Oops. Oh wow, it's since it consists of mainly barrel how strong is this plane? We're about to find out the true strength of this plane. Nose dive. Wow. The barrel takes most of the impact. Um, I do appear to be stuck. I guess this is considered taking off, and wow, that is... Okay, that time it didn't survive as well. Can it still fly? Yeah, the answer to that question is no. It falls like a barrel attached to a bunch of broken wings. Shh, no one will notice the wheels. Actually, I don't think there's anyone left to notice the wheels. Mission accomplished. Town destroyed itself. Well, like the video if you liked it. This is the end, so subscribe so you don't miss what happens next time. Which is probably just going to be us messing around with stuff the game wasn't intended for.
like lasers and giant explosions and uh, antimatter. Fun, right? Oh, how high was that? That came from like, that was launched into orbit nearly. <laughs> 